Johnson makes a man miss. Still on his feet. Johnson bursts out of the pack. He's at the 40. How far can he go? To the 30. Run out of bounds near the 20-yard line. And we saw some of what Josh Johnson does. He's got more moves than a Bourbon Street regular and showed it right there. Johnson last week, 87 yards on 14 attempts at Iowa State, hoping to have a much bigger performance today against the Jaguars. Of course, against the Cyclones, it was going against the nation's 10th ranked rushing defense. A chance to have a lot of success today against USA. Trey Young ran him out of bounds right at the 20 yard line. Isaiah Phillips has returned to the lineup in the backfield. Evans looks to throw, has time, wings it over the middle, caught for a touchdown. Josh Peterson, whose dad, Doug Peterson, is in the house tonight. Josh Peterson makes the touchdown reception. He was wide open in the middle of the field. Devin Rocket and DJ Daniels, one of them should have been on Peterson. Some miscommunication. Both of them end up to the near side, almost all the way to the sideline. And right there in the middle, Peterson all alone. Give offensively in the first period, running 22 plays. 19 of them have been on the ground. They are three for three through the air. That ball is pitched to the corner of the end zone, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Corey Strutter. That's his third of the season. And he has bloomed here early in the season, Lynn. Another pick for him. And for USA, that was a very risky ball to throw into coverage. Pull it down, you can get three points and take an early regain the early lead. Instead, you see three defenders around those two receivers there for USA. A very risky proposition for the Jaguars. The line to make is the 41. Evans is calling for it. Looking downfield, he's got plenty of time. Sets and throws, caught for a first down by Peterson. Josh Peterson makes a diving effort. He's already caught a touchdown pass in the middle of the field. And this time he comes up with a third down conversion. Had a couple of wide open options there on the left side of the field. Both Peterson and McCray didn't have her a defender within three or four yards. Caleb Evans, 6'2", 210 pound senior from Mansfield, Texas. Fakes, lobs to the outside. Caught it appears at the 10 yard line. Zach Jackson, a six foot, 200 pound sophomore from Grand Prairie, Texas, hauls it in. This ball is well delivered. Yeah, perfectly thrown ball. The only one that could catch that was Jackson. Well done, able to get a foot down in bounds, and ULM in business, first and goal. Jared Porter will strike it. This is little more than an extra point. Slight angle left. The kick is hooked. Did he get it inside the upright? Yes, he did. Jared Porter gives ULM its first lead. 9.34 to go in the first half. ULM 10, South Alabama 7. Jared Wilson is in the backfield. Cephas Johnson calling for the ball. He'll keep it on the draw, and he is smothered immediately. The Warhawks sniffed that one out. Austin Hawley was there among some teammates. And that play had no chance. Cephas Johnson was immediately swallowed. And USA was playing into this, the assumption that I made that they would need to pass the football in that situation, trying to draw, catch ULM by surprise. ULM came back and got a touchdown reception from tight end Josh Peterson and a field goal. And leads 10-7. Caleb Evans scrambles to his right, waits for the retinue to clear out, now finds a receiver who runs all the way to the 49-yard line. Brandius Batiste, the junior from Roanoke, Louisiana. Evans right now sixth in passing average in the Sun Belt Conference, 200 yards per game, eighth in passing efficiency. Uneven and probably unfair, though, to measure at this point, given the discrepancy between Sunbelt teams and their non-conference opponents. These rankings are really coming to focus over the next few weeks. That was Batista's fifth catch of the season. This one is on the money again, over the middle. Grab for big yardage. And to the end zone, Marquise McCray, the senior from Euless, Texas. 
ran the route in the middle of the field, took a strike from Caleb Evans, and then negotiated the rest of the way. Talking to Matt Kubik earlier this week about McCray, saying he solidified the slot position, and wow, what a performance from him on that play. Jared Porter will kick it from his own end zone. The rush is on. Mentor is back to receive the punt. He drifts back. He accepts it at the 43, and he goes down immediately. Tremendous special teams coverage on the punt by the Warhawks. So no return, 12-18 to go. The scoreboard remains the same, 17-7. ULM. Jared Porter will punt it to Trey Mentor. This is a very nice kick. Mentor lets it bounce behind him, and it's down near the five-yard line. That was a ripper, just about 55 yards on that kick. Down at the five yard Cephas Johnson calling for it. Trey Mentor is next to him. Johnson is flushed out of the pocket. Johnson will keep it. Johnson cannot turn the corner. He's run out of bounds. Up close by Rashard Harding. Harding. Harding, the junior from Lafayette, Louisiana. Looks like everybody's no worse for the wear after that collision. Thankfully, watch it. The line to make is the 47 to keep this drive alive. There is pressure, and the quarterback goes down. Cephas Johnson in the hands of Kerry Starks. He had five sacks a year ago, 11 tackles for loss, and Kerry Starks is the first to get to Cephas Johnson. Yeah, really nice job by the ULM defense, able to snuff out any kind of long pass attempt that USA was going to have there. Fourth down, ULM will try to convert. The pass over the middle. Caught for a first down at the 21-yard line. It's tight end Josh Peterson. He has been where necessary, when necessary tonight. No, absolutely. And he's a 6'5", 230-pound, easy target to find. And he has found open room even if he was a little smaller, I think he'd be able to catch a lot of these balls. But he has worked himself into a key part of this offense over the last couple of weeks. Really got a lot of love on the national scene in that Iowa State game. Four catches for 55 yards and a touchdown. This one at the corner of the end zone. Caught for the score! Jonathan Hodo on the receiving end of the lob. Beautifully directed by Caleb Evans. Evans to Hodo. And the Warhawks get their first score of the second half. For Hodo, his third catch on the night. This one the biggest by far. Brings it in to pad ULM's lead in the corner of the end zone. Gets up, has a little swag about him as he heads back to the sideline. Instead, deciding to stick it out and work under this coaching staff, and it's been worth the wait. First and long, the throw goes to the outside. Caught near midfield, a beautiful back shoulder throw. Brandius Baptiste saw that going to the outside. That ball was placed where only Brandius Baptiste could get it. This is a wonderful hookup. Watch Baptiste battling against the DB and really a fantastic job negotiating around the player right there as Travis Reed attempted to break that one up. But First and 10 from near midfield and the reverse coming to the left side. This is McCray with the ball. McCray up the far sideline. McCray's got a first down and plenty more. So ULM goes to the reverse and negotiates a first down and about eight or nine more. Nice to see a little trickeration. Make everybody pay attention if you hadn't uh, been watching every single snap. That's why you don't step away. And ULM will attempt to convert. The Warhawks need to get to the 22-yard line. Caleb Evans looking around. Has three wide receivers at the bottom of the formation. The throw goes over the middle to the other side. Bobbled and caught by Brandius Baptiste. That ball was in the air on a carom, and Baptiste was able to snatch it. A really good control keeping your 
eye on the task at hand, and so many players will have the ball hit their hand initially and then turn to run almost immediately. Baptiste knew he had to bring that ball in first, and really great concentration to bring that ball in amidst the traffic. It was first deflected by the defender and then off the arm of Baptiste. That was Riley Cole who got a piece of it. And this is Caleb Evans. Caleb Evans around the left side. Caleb Evans into the end zone for a touchdown. Evans hasn't been able to get much done on the ground tonight, but he makes up for it with that big moment to score for the Warhawks. Before that play, he had only rushed for 10 yards on the evening. Now you add in the touchdown run, and ULM goes up 29 to 10.